Falcon Heavy is SpaceX's mission that everyone has been looking forward to for 10 years now, and it is finally time for SpaceX to launch its Falcon Heavy rocket. After 10 years and several delays, the launch of the most awaited rocket has finally taken place. Hello Liftoff fans, we are back with another video about space and often SpaceX. In today's episode, we will tell you everything about the SpaceX sleeper monster, Falcon Heavy rocket, and its launch date. Stay tuned. Falcon Heavy is the largest rocket since NASA's Saturn V booster, which was used for the moon missions around the 1970s. As the name suggests, this rocket is the heavy lift version of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. It consists of three Falcon 9 cores strapped together, which gives the rocket a great amount of power. Since each Falcon 9 rocket has 9 engines, this version has 27 engines that will be used to send this vehicle to space. This is the first of its kind that has used so many engines to make its way into space. Falcon Heavy is the most powerful operational rocket in the world by a factor of 2. With the ability to lift into orbit nearly 64 metric tons, Falcon Heavy can lift more than twice the payload of the next closest operational vehicle, the Delta IV Heavy. The rocket has a sticker price of $90 million, which is 45% more than the Falcon 9 rocket has used for every mission since 2012. This rocket is not that expensive because of its reusable rock parts. SpaceX is the only rocket builder around the globe that safely returns the first stage rocket boosters back to Earth. Launching a rocket means one can get a lot more into space. This could also be an opportunity for SpaceX to open up a whole new line of business, which could include sending heavier satellites into orbit to send people into deep space. Such a powerful yet affordable rocket is also very likely to attract the attention of NASA to be used for different kinds of missions, including ones to Mars. Another unconventional thing is that SpaceX has plans to take tourists around the moon using the rocket and open up new avenues for space tourism. In February 2018, after years of anticipation, SpaceX successfully launched its triple booster Falcon Heavy rocket for the first time in a spectacular show of force. Though the center core booster got a little multi on its extremely high speed re-entry and was lost before it could attempt to land, the rocket's twin side boosters performed an iconic near simultaneous landing just a handful of miles away from where they lifted off. Then Falcon Heavy took a good long break. Ultimately, it would turn out that the debut vehicle was effectively a one-off and over the course of 14 months, SpaceX fairly quickly designed, built, and qualified an entirely new Falcon Heavy rocket based on Falcon 9's new and improved Block 5 version. In April 2019, after a few minor delays, that Falcon Heavy Block 5 rocket completed its first own launch debut and first mission for a paying customer. This time, around all three boosters, two by land and one by sea, survived re-entry and performed a flawless landing on a drone ship and two landing zones. A mere two months later, both of Falcon Heavy's Block 5's first two recovered side boosters flew again in support of the US Force's STP-2 mission. A combined demonstration flight and rideshare most likely designed to push the rocket to its limits and help the military qualify it for high value payloads. Once more, those side boosters successfully returned for a simultaneous landing at SpaceX's landing zones, but the mission's Block 5 center core's re-entry was, as SpaceX itself partially expected, too hot, burning essential components and resulting in a hard landing in the Atlantic Ocean. Otherwise, the mission was a spectacular success and gave the US military partially all the data it needed to qualify the world's largest operational rocket to launch its payloads. Shockingly, however, that June 2019 launch would end up being Falcon Heavy's third and latest in the almost 26 months since the rocket hasn't flown once. Originally scheduled to launch a fourth time as early as Q4 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic ultimately delayed the rocket's two next launches or gave the satellite manufacturers perfect scapegoats for technical delays, let alone one as exacting as the US military. USA-52 is a much simpler and more traditional launch to an elliptical geostationary transfer orbit. 
About a year ago, for unknown reasons, the two missions swapped positions, with UWSF-44 taking the lead. Expected to launch in June 2021, as of early this year, Spaceflight Now first reported that UWSF-44 had slipped further still to October, and UWSF-52 into 2022. Since then, that's where the mission schedules have tentatively lain. Finally, on August 12th, SpaceX filed an FCC application for rocket communications permissions. While otherwise ordinary, this particular request stated that it was for Falcon Heavy recovery operations, and more specifically, for the simultaneous recovery of two Falcon Heavy boosters at sea. Out of an abundance of caution and conservation, and combined with the generally challenging nature of direct-to-GEO launches, Falcon Heavy's first such mission for the US military will require SpaceX to expand the rocket center booster and recover both side boosters at sea with two separate drone ships. Following a roundabout confirmation about a month ago that satellite internet provider Viasat's first Viasat 3 satellite is on track to launch no earlier than Q2 2022. Unspecified payload issues recently delayed Falcon Heavy's UWSF-44 launch to Q1 2022. Assuming no further delays, which seems an unwise gamble at this point in time, UWSF-44 will be SpaceX and Falcon Heavy's first operational US military launch and first geostationary launch. A mission profile that requires the rocket's upper stage to coast for six hours through multiple radiation bolts before reigniting 36,000 kilometers above the Earth. If UWSF-44 slips a few more months, though, then Viasat-3 could become SpaceX's first direct GEO launch, as well as the first commercial direct-to-GEO launch ever in Q2 2022. Headed to an easier geostationary transfer orbit, UWSF-52 is also scheduled to launch on Falcon Heavy in Q2 2022, though delays to it and UWSF-44s are equally likely. Fourth in line, Falcon Heavy is scheduled to launch NASA's Psyche Asteroid Explorer during a few-week window in August 2022 marking the first of at least three NASA missions set to exploit the most capable and cost-effective deep space commercial launch vehicle in history. Finally, the US military will apparently be ready for Falcon Heavy to launch UWSF-67 directly to GEO sometime in the second half of 2022, perhaps before Psyche, but more likely in the last few months of the year. Just like UWSF-44 and likely Viasat-3 too, SpaceX will have to expend Falcon Heavy's center core during UWSF-67's launch to give the upper stage enough performance for a direct GEO injection, while the rocket's two side boosters will land on separate drone ships in the Atlantic Ocean. That's all for today, guys. If you've enjoyed the video and want to see more about space and SpaceX, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching. Until next time.